If you are using ruckus equipment, you should be concerned. A certain advisory was published on July 8th of 2025 and reads like a checklist of everything you hope your vendor didn't do, but this time they did. While it's common for security issues to happen due to oversights and complex code, some of these are so bad they range from completely careless to intentional, such as having a feature that Ruckus Text could elevate their permissions with, and that in my mind is a back door. Let's talk about some of the details. CVE 2025-44954, hard-coded SSH key, never hard-code your keys. CVE 2025-44960 and 44961, unauthenticated and authenticated command injection via Smart Zones Web APIs. Always remember to sanitize your inputs. CVE 2025-44955, 44957, 44958, and 44963. Secrets and password encryption keys stored in plain text and hard-coded, allowing token forgery and password decryption. And the one I mentioned earlier, CVE 2025-44956, a built-in CLI jailbreak with hard-coded password that turns R&D user right into root, on demand. Normally, this is where I'd say, patch your systems now. But as of recording, six days after search disclosure, there is no patch available. No advisory, no timeline, no statement, nothing from Ruckus or their parent company, Comscope. The research teams did reach out prior to disclosure, but heard nothing back. Therefore, they published this information. It's not like they didn't try. And while I've not deployed Ruckus myself, as I understand the way their platform works, they recommend management VLANs and restrictive firewall rules around the Ruckus controller software and not to publicly expose these. And a quick show dance search shows me, well, not too many of these publicly exposed. But if someone were to get on the inside of the network, these exploits would be very accessible and yeah, not good. You can find a link to the report in the description down below. Like, subscribe, and for those of you using Ruckus, have you heard anything about this? Have you heard anything from your sales or support teams? I'm hoping this video will get someone's attention. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, because seven months without responding to security research doesn't have really a good look to me. Thanks.